Call to Action Best Practices for Marketers Setting up high converting calls to action should be easy, right? You only have to tell potential leads to sign up, leave the rest of the job to your lead magnet, and then call it a day. But it so happens that creating call to action messages and buttons that convert well is all about strategy. And we're about to teach you the best practices that you can start applying on your calls to action today. Communicate value through your calls to action. You can't just ask a lead to sign up to your email list if you want him or her to convert. When you ask a lead to sign up or to join your newsletter, no matter how attractive your lead magnet is, you're not communicating the value of your offer or what's in it for the subscriber. Instead, you have to increase the value of your offer by using value terms to describe your lead magnet and your newsletter. For instance, if you want to capture leads by offering a free download, you have to use the term download instead of the term sign up. Or if you want to capture leads by offering free access to a piece of walled content, you have to use the term access. With those terms, you can create calls to action such as download this report now or get access to a piece of premium content now. Some of the most popular value terms that you can use on your calls to action include download, limited time, limited offer, access, featured, free, exclusive, special offer, secrets, and tricks. So you can use them to create killer calls to action such as access or exclusive content for a limited time, free. Shame your leads into opting in. It's become common nowadays for marketers to add two CTA buttons to their sign-up forms. One with the option that says yes and sign up right there and one with the option to say no thanks and close the opt-in page. But you can make potential leads reconsider closing the opt-in page by adding some sarcasm to the no thanks CTA text. You just have to use a variation of the no I don't want to get better results copy that fits your offer. For example, if you're offering a free ebook download with strategies to optimize an online store, your no thanks CTA text should read instead, no, I don't care about making more sales. This simple change will help you to convert three times more leads into subscribers than the usual CTA text. Use alternative call to action text. Additionally, you can also use alternative terms on your call to action buttons to ease leads into thinking that they're not committing to a mailing list, but to a single download or to a one-time free content access that can lead to more free stuff. Instead of using generic CTA terms like sign up or join now, you can use alternative positive phrases such as I'm in, sounds good, or yeah, sign me up. You can also use alternative CTA terms combined with value terms to create CTA buttons that read like yes, Give me my download now. Add call to action links to your highest converting opt-ins across your site. There are times when calls to action work best when used as text links on navigation bars. And we recommend you to check which of your opt-in pages converts the best so you can link to them across your site. The trick is to combine a call to action with a keyword in the name of your sign up incentive as your text link title. For example, if one of your highest converting opt-in offers is a list building strategy checklist, you can add and pin a text link to the sidebar to funnel leads to the landing page with a title like, Get the Definitive List Building Strategies Checklist Now.